My name is Alexandra Sosa and I work for the Farm Worker and Landscaper Advocacy Project. I am the executive director of the organization. Basically what we do is uh, to identify when a farm worker and a migrant worker has a problem at work. For example, they are not getting paid for overtime. Or, and then we try to recover back those salaries for the workers. So Alexandra actually has a lot of different roles for FLAP. Um, so she's, her main role is obviously our executive director, but she also does um, the grant writing, she does the outreach, which is the most important part, I think, of what we do because she goes out, speaks with the workers, finds the cases, but more importantly, engages in uh, community education, advising the workers of their rights. I was born in Colombia, in Medellin, Colombia. And I went to law school in, in Medellin. And then I worked for the Attorney General Office for almost 10 years. And then I got a job offer and went to Spain. And I worked there with the farm workers in Madrid. And then I came here to the United States in December 2000. And I met Vince Beckman, who is one of the co-founders of the organization. And, and we started working together. And since then, I, I loved this job. Alexandra is great. She's um, she's usually not in the office, so actually a lot of our communication is through email, just because she's so busy doing the outreach. Her biggest motivation is always the clients, finding a good outcome for them, and I see that every day, and I appreciate that. So um, working with someone like that who has very high expectations, and it's always, you know, to do quality work for the clients, I mean, it's great. She's very caring. She um, is down to earth and she's able to relate and connect with the workers because even when she talks and the way she says certain words, it's like she's one of them. So she really relates to them and it's useful because then they trust her. Uh, one particular case that I, I remember um, is this lady that I met. Uh, actually, I was doing outreach in McHenry County and I was tired and then I stopped in a Mexican restaurant. There is this woman who is crying in the next table. I don't know how we start talking and I asking her like why she's crying and she, then she's telling me that she was just fired from work. And then I figured out that she works for a nursery. So I ended going to her house. I start asking these questions about the nursery and why she was fired. And at the same time that I'm doing this, there is this kid there in her house who needs help to do uh, his homework. So I kind of take some time to do the homework with the kid and then I'm leaving and the kid is asking me like, are you coming back tomorrow? <laughs> but we won that case and it was very, it was uh, very rewarding for us. It was, it was great. All the years that she's been putting into this work, her dedication, and it's just, I mean, it's a role model because it really shows you how dedicated a person can be to actually serving a community. I think if it wasn't for Alexandra, I mean, definitely our organization would not be, you know, as productive as we are. She, I mean, she honestly does the majority of everything that's like but litigation. Yeah, I mean, I think if it wasn't for her, there would be a lot of persons that didn't know their rights. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad she's here. There are many difficult situations in the day-to-day -day operations, but at the end of the day, we are able to help those workers who other organizations are no, or, or there are no other people helping them, or focusing in, in helping this special population. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be the one who brings them some justice or some hope for them to fight for their rights at work.